All right now I'm gonna use the new Amana countersink bit. All right guys, today I wanna to show you this countersink bit that I got made by Amana Tool. The model number is 55293. And I just wanna show you uh, how it works and how it stacks up to a couple other countersink bits that I've got. So it's got some directions on the back here for adjusting the depth of the bit. And it comes with an Allen wrench to make those adjustments, which is very handy. So let's get out of the package and see how it works. All right, I got the bit out of its uh, packaging, which is actually very nice because it could serve as a case for it if you like to uh, keep your stuff nice and organized. This just slides out after you take out a staple at the top and you can keep everything right in there and not lose it. So this is what the bit looks like has the model number stamped on it, printed on it. So you can make sure you know which one you're using if you have multiple versions. They have different uh, styles with different um, angles for the chamfer on the countersink. So the way this works is this disc spins independently. This white disc, you can't tell that it's, it's not, but he's, you can see I'm holding onto it and it's not spinning in my fingers. When you drill in, this is going to land on your the face of your wood and it's not going to allow it's a depth stop really it's not going to allow the bit to go in any further so every hole once you have it set up the way you want every hole is going to be drilled exactly the same which is really nice if you want your screw head to be perfectly flush with or just below or however you want it it's going to be exactly the same for every screw and uniformity sometimes is very pretty so um, it comes with this Allen key. It has two different size ends. So in here, you can uh, loosen this and adjust the length of the um, drill bit itself. You can also replace the drill bit if you accidentally snap one off. And then over here, you can uh, loosen that and adjust um, this part so that it, it slides the countersink cutting portion you know, deeper into the wood if that's what you desire. So that's that bit. Okay, now these are all the countersink options that I've got. Got this new one here from Amana, and then I've got this style that uh, you can use in wood and metal. And it doesn't pre-drill the hole for the screw, but it just cuts a chamfered hole uh, for the screw head to fit down into. And I've got a set of five or six of these, uh, all in different sizes for the different size heads of screws. And then I've got this style that has a drill bit to drill a pilot hole, and then it has the chamfered cutting bit. What I don't like about this style is that you don't have any control over how deep you go, so every hole is going to be unique and some screws could be flush and some screws could be you know in a half inch <laughs> it depends on how hard and how much you pay attention this is uh this pretty much the same as this style it's just a different um a different bit itself so we're gonna test out all three and i'll show you what i mean all right so i'm going to be drilling to insert some wood screws number eight by three quarters of an inch just to be consistent. The first one I'm going to use is this style with the pre-drill pilot hole bit and chamfer cutting portion for countersinking. All right, I got three holes there. Now let's put some screws in. Okay, next I'm gonna use this style bit that only cuts the chamfered countersink portion. And to do that, I need to start off with a uh, drill bit for the pilot hole. 
So this is a two-step process because I need to use two different bits, which is, you know, a little frustrating. Okay, well now we're going to countersink those pilot holes. Well, I did my best to uh, make those as uniform as possible, but let's see once we put the screws in. All right, now I'm going to use the new Amana countersink bit. One bit, no need to change. The bit was very sharp, that was very nice. We'll put some screws in. All right, well that's all three. So again, this was the first one I did. You can see how inconsistent those are. And I mean, I wasn't trying to exaggerate here. I mean, this is, maybe I pushed a little too hard, <laughs> but uh, the inaccuracy and the unrepeatability is very evident with uh, the first style bit with the without a depth stop. Now this one, those all look pretty consistent, but I went in too far. The third one is uh, definitely in further than the first two, but I mean, you could dial that in, but it's again, a two bit uh, process and uh, not very convenient. Now here's the one from Amana. Those are, it's hard to tell on the camera because it doesn't want to focus, but those are exactly the same. All three of those are perfect. Now, if I wanted it to be flush, I could, uh, you know, adjust the stop itself and bring the screw head up a little bit, but uh, right out of the box, that's what it did. And, you know, perfect. You, made a perfect hole, there's no tear out. I guess that one has a little bit of tear out. They're all pretty similar in that regard. But it made perfectly round holes. Those screws fit perfect. I'm very happy with that. So, you know, if you're looking for a one-step process to countersink your screws, and you know, this didn't mar the wood at all, I mean, I think it's a perfect solution. So I hope this helped you make a decision. Thanks for watching.